How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Palm Top Tiger from the Discord server in the OU tier. Looking at the team, they've got a Mianxiao, a Como, Meowscrod, a Ninetales, Kanto, Gliscor, and an Espeon. Pretty cool stuff. Weavile looks like it could actually put in some decent work here. Obviously, we get outsped by the Meowscrada, um, but if we can get if we can get an Ice Spinner off on something on that team, if we get that um, if we get that Ninetales out of the way as well, um, we'll be golden. But Knockoff hits really hard, and Ice Spinner hits really hard equally well. Um, so I'm thinking we lead off with the um, Lander is expecting either a Ninetales. Or a Meowshow lead, or a Meowscarada lead, of course. Um, Ninetales, I'll bring it in later to get rid of the sun if we need to. If it's even, it might not even be dry, it might be flash fire. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And the battle begins, so Palm Top's going to lead off with Marshall the Meowshow, as expected as we lead off with the Landers. Now obviously this thing can carry the Ice Spinner. Mianxia looks so cool in this game. I love its new pose. That's really awesome. Get the Intimidate off on the Mianxia, which is really good. Um, obviously, Ice Spinner will still hurt a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the Alolan Ninetales real quick. They probably go for a U-turn here, expecting us to switch. Um, but it's fine. We'll go into the Ninetales real quick, and then um, we'll just kind of get the snow up. If they go into the Ninetales of their own to counteract that, that's fair enough. Um, but we'll just go into Kushel for now. There we go. Ninetales comes on in. Looking great. Get the snow up. Boost our physical defense as they do go for a U-turn, which is going to do diddly squat. There we go. So, um, not the worst first turn. Gained a bit of momentum for my opponent there, but it's fine. We can deal with that. All they would have done is gone into their... Um, they would have probably gone into the Gliscor anyway. So, QB the early riser. That's going to be the Ninetales. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, they get a drought up, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, we can still work with that. Um, we do have the Empoleon in the back. So... I think I'll go in Polion because obviously it's a salt vest. It can take any hit this thing wants to throw at us. They probably go for hypnosis though, knowing knowing nine tails. There we are gonna withdraw our nine tails. We'll save it for later, get that snow up later on down the line. And we're going to Admiral the Empoleon, which is not a bad switch. So they go for a flamethrower, which is gonna do nothing to us. We eat that look like it's nothing. And then this turn I'm gonna go for a flip turn, expecting them to switch out. Um they do go in for a hypnosis, which misses. Which is great as we get a flip turn off. So flip turn in Polion oh, does a lot of damage as well. Nice. It was a critical hit. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see in Polion. Getting some critical hits in there. So with that in mind, let's think about what we're going to do here. So I think I've got to go Conk. I think Uncaldo is the way to go. Or the little Ninetales get the Aurora Veil. Um, I think that's probably the way to go. Because they can't hypnosis us. Conk's not doing too much for us anyway. So, yeah, let's go to Conk. Let's go into the Conk. We're going to Boogie. Boogie the Clown. There we go. We're going to get burned from the Flame Orb, which activates our Guts ability, which is great. And uh, we can just go straight for a Drain Punch. We could go for a Drain Punch, or we could go for an Ice Punch. I don't think they want to lose their Ninetales, so I think they go into the um, Gliscor. So I'm going to predict the Gliscor, and I'm going to go straight for that Ice Punch real quick. If they stay in, it's not the end of the world. So they're actually going to Terra. What type are they going to terror into, though? Are they going to go, what, fairy or something? Terroring the Ninetales. Interesting. So they go Terror Ghost, which would be a very good play if we went for Drain Punch. But we haven't. We've gone for the Ice Punch, so we should be okay. They go for a Hex. Booster by Terror. That's going to do some decent damage. There. That's a cool set. I really like that set. So it does over half, which is fine. We can deal with that. We go for an Ice Punch, and that KOs the Ninetales, which is great. So Ninetales goes down. We made the right play. We definitely made the right play there. And we can still use Conkelder for later with its Mark Punch to pick stuff off. So we're not in too bad of a situation. The sun is permanently gone once it's gone. Snip Snip comes in, which is going to be the Glide Score probably. Yep, there it is. So interestingly enough, they've gone for the Glide Score switch, even though they've just seen the Ice Punch. There is a chance we live a um, Earthquake from this thing. They won't go for a Toxic. Um, they haven't got Hazard Clearance other than the Espeon. So I think, I think Landorus is the right play here. So we'll go Landorus real quick. I would go straight into Ninetales, but I want to do this first. I want to get the Stealth Rocks up if I can, or at least bait the Espeon in so we can U-turn on his face. So we'll go into Landorus, get that Intimidate off. They go for an EQ. It doesn't do anything to Landorus, of course. Even with the Intimidate, it doesn't matter. Um, now, we probably see a switch into Espeon, but also I want to get out of there and go into Ninetales. So I think U-turn is in order. We should be... Um, yeah, they go for a Stealth Rock of their own. So they get a Stealth Rocks up. We could have got Stealth Rocks up. 
But it don't matter. It's fine. We can deal with it. So we go for a U-turn. We go for a U-turn. And all we have to do is go into Nine Tails. That's all we need to do. So we'll go Nine Tails real quick. There we go. Into the Nine Tails. We'll get up the um, Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil's good because they don't have a Defogger. They don't have a Defogger. So we're going to get the Snow up. Which is great. Um, now we just go for a Aurora Veil. I've actually brought Hypnosis on this one. Ah, I said that before. Um, but I normally have an Encore. But after the last battle, I kind of want to use Hypnosis more. Let's go for Aurora Veil real quick. There we go. Get that Aurora Veil up. Likely should make it last um, up to eight turns. Which is great for us. As they go for a knockoff. Not quite in time. Not quite in time. Not quite in time. We still got the Aurora Veil up for ages. So there we go. Uh, let's go for a freeze dry now. Should be able to KO the Gliscor, no problem. I don't see what their switch into this is. Freeze dry comes through. Like I said, didn't really have a good switch in here. As that's going to take out Gliscor. So there we go. Gliscor goes down. This does give them a free switch into whatever they want to go into. I would go Espeon personally. I think that's the way to go. Espeon is. Weed Cat comes in. The Meow Scarada. So that's, um, that's a threat. Flower Trick will definitely hurt. Do we have a switch in? I think we've got Landorus. Yeah, we can get Landorus. We can get Landorus real quick. So we'll go Landorus real quick and we'll just get that Intimidate off. Be able to um, not resist the Flower Trick, but be neutral to the Flower Trick as well. I know Flower Trick bypasses the Intimidate, so it's a bit pointless, but my Landorus is physically defensive, so we should be able to still take a hit really well. Um, so let's see how this works out. So they go for a Flower Trick. They are Protean, which is good to know. There we go. Boom. Flop. Still does too much damage. Way too much damage. They are life orb as well, which is good to know. So um, I'm going to go for a U-turn here. Just on the off chance we live, but I don't think we live here. Flower Trick comes through. Boom. Takes out Landorus. There we go. So there we go. Even despite the Aurora Veil, I'm not sure whether critical hits bypass the Aurora Veil or not, but I, I feel like they probably do. And um, the snow is going to stop, which means no more defense boost, but we do have the Weavile in the back, so I'm going to go for the Weavile switch. And there we go. Weavile comes through. Nicely done. We are Choice Banded, so we're going to take some Stealth Rock damage. But at the same time, we are Choice Banded, so this Ice Shard should definitely KO. So let's see how this works out for us. I'm not going to tear it. There's no point. Let's go for the Ice Shard and hope for the KO on the Meow Scrat. I'm pretty sure it does, but I could be wrong. They do withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? Espeon or Mian Chao? Psychic the Reliable Partner comes in. That's the Espeon. Yeah, there we go. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We go for an Ice Shard. Nearly does half. Okay, cool. So not too bad. Um, we now have a perfect switch into Air Empoleon, which is exactly what I'm going to do. A Soul Vest Empoleon under the Aurora Veil is definitely going to be able to tang a hit from this thing. If they go for the trick, fair enough. If they go for the trick, fair enough. I don't think they will, though. Um, as they go for a Reflect, so they're dual screening Espeon. Interesting. So we got a couple of options here. I think the best option we can go for is flip turn. So I'm going to go for the flip turn real quick. They go for a psychic, staying in to attack us. Minimal damage as a flip turn is going to come through. I would have like stayed in and gone for a hydro pump. But I'm, I assume they would go for a light screen for a start. But also, we get a free switch back into Weavile now. And that means we get to go for knockoff. Knockoff is the be all and end all in this game. So there we go. Um, right, what can we do here? So yeah, exert some pressure, all that wonderful stuff. Let's go for a knockoff. There's no real reason not to. It's definitely going to KO the Espeon through the Reflect. There we go. Espeon goes down. Weavile with knockoff is amazing. In comes Marshall. The Mian Xiao. So Mian Xiao comes in nice and shiny. Got all of it. Um, we definitely switch out here. Question is what two? I would say they're going to go straight for a close combat. So I'm going to go into the Ninetales. And the reason I'm going into the Ninetales is... Purely and simply to get that snow up. Um, or is it best to go into the Conkel? Or is it best to go into the Furret? For crying out loud. Or if they're choice locked, is it best to? Is it mm, no, 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 no? We can still use this. We can still use this later. We can still use this later because they could very well be choice scarfed and they could very well go for a close combat right now. Um, I'm thinking. I'm leaning towards Empoleon as a sack. I'm leaning towards Empoleon as a sack switch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Empoleon comes on in. Looking amazing, of course, since it's Lure Ball. There we go. Lovely jovely. They go for a U-turn. To be expected, to be fair. To be expected, to be fair, as now they're going to switch out into probably, I would say, 
Meow Scarada or the Como? Como comes in. This thing's ready to sweep, right? This thing is ready to sweep. I have to go for an Ice Beam here just to... Yeah, just, just to stop them from going for the Clangorous Soul. Because if they go for a Clangorous Soul and we don't get that Ice Beam chip, it's over. It's all over now. So their Reflect wears off finally, which is amazing. Which means we can go Weavile. We can go Weavile now. There we go. Weavile can come in. Now they've already Terrored, which is good to note. All we have to do is go for an Ice Spinner and Terror ourselves. Do we Terror? Do we Terror here? Do we Terror? I think we Terror. Yes, we Terror. We go for the Ice Spinner. Come on, Weavile. Come on, Weavile. Do this for me. Do this for me. I want you to go for an Ice Spinner. I want the Ice Spinner to fail so that they go for a Drain Punch, realize they've just lost to the Weavile. Not the game necessarily, but they've lost the Como to the Weavile. That's what we like to see. Weavile the Dragon Slayer here. So let's go for an Ice Spinner real quick. Should KO? It does KO, which is great. So the Como goes down. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely, simply, trustfully amazing. Amazing, Weavile. In comes the Meow Scarada. Now, we know Meow Scarada outspeeds us. We know all that stuff. We can live more Stealth Rock damage now. So I think the thing to do here is go into Alolan Ninetales. I think that is the play. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll switch out into our Alolan Ninetales. Let it get some Stealth Rock damage. Let it go down to the Flower Trick. It's fine. We can do that. We can do that just fine. Um, so we get the Snow Up, of course. And then they go for a Sucker Punch. Oh. Oh. Sucker Punch, eh? Interesting. So Sucker Punch is an interesting play there. Um, I definitely go straight for a Moonblast here. We outspeed? Oh, are they... Are, are, are they the Adamants? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why we outsped there. We outsped I don't know what set that was. But it definitely bit him in the ass. Definitely bit him in the ass. So Mian Xiao comes in. Mian Xiao should be able to take us out. So let's go for a Moonblast. We shouldn't be outspeeding Mian Xiao. I don't know what's going on with my Meow Scarada set, but we definitely shouldn't have outsped there. Hi, Junky comes through. Down goes the Ninetales. So there we go. So Ninetales goes down. So these things can carry the knockoff, but they are very likely to be choiced. I'm going to go back into Weavile, and Weavile should be able to finish this up. Weavile should be finished up. If it's choiced, then it's GG. It's GG right there. Weavile should be able to finish this up, though. Ice Spinner should KO. If Ice Spinner doesn't KO, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to make any bets. I'm not going to make any bets. So they go for the High Jump Kick again. They are Choice locked in. Does half damage because of its, um, because of it, obviously, if you miss High Jump Kick, you crash. We KO with the Ice Spinner. Weavile gets free KOs. Yes. Knock off Weavile gets the free KOs. I mean, knockoff wasn't really the biggest part in that. I mean, we could have still done the same thing with Night Slash on the Espeon. But, you know, it is what it is. Weavile pulled through for us. And that is going to be the game. So, GG Palm Top Tiger. And here it is. If you want to try the team out, go ahead and use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.